Hey quad fans, we've got the Hubson X4 Pro here with a uh, GoPro Hero 3 Plus mounted on the front. I've done just some very, very minor mods here. I've done uh, my own um, antenna, these uh, mushroom antennas that, that I like a lot. They, they work really, really well. Don't have to do that, but I'm just kind of experimenting with those to see how they're going to go. But let's get this started up and we'll do a quick flight. I'm going to turn on the GoPro first. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and hit record on the GoPro because I don't think the controller will turn the GoPro record on. So now we're going to turn on, on the power to the controller. You got one main power button here to turn the controller on. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna apply uh, power to the X4 Pro here, and we're gonna have to set it out on the ground to get GPS lock. Let's set it out. Here. probably hard to see that screen because we've got the the sun coming coming at us here and we're waiting for GPS lock which is on this screen you may not be able to see that but but um, it's not too bad I, I can actually see it fairly well okay it looks like we've got uh, We've got eight satellites already. We've got nine satellites. Okay, I'm going to check the uh, the three-axis gimbal. Make sure that's doing okay. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna I'm gonna check the three-axis gimbal. We've got we've got a tilt control, and it's tilting the, the GoPro there a little bit. And then we've got we've got a yaw control back and forth for the gimbal, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna try to keep it uh, just straight out. Now let's go to video, see if we're getting video here. It comes up with a small window first, and you can simply tap on the the uh, little icon there to get uh, a larger view and it looks like we're ready to roll I'll see if I can start this up and get it in the air we've got nine satellites again and looks like everything is good I had to stop the video here because I forgot to do a compass calibration which means that you it, it shows you the instructions on the screen and and I just failed to do it it's every single time you start this machine up you have to do a compass calibration you have to turn it around 360 a couple times then you have to tumble it a couple times it shows you exactly what to do on the screen so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that you won't see me doing it but I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll get back to the launch Here we go for startup. GPS is doing a very good job of keeping it in one spot. We've got about a five to eight mile per hour wind out here today. Not bad. 
but uh, it's doing a great job of, of holding it in position. It actually gives it a little bit of opposite control input, which I, I like to, uh, to get it right back to where the position where you let go of the stick. All right, there we have the Hubson X4 Pro. Not a bad machine. The, I think the thing that I like most about it is, is the uh, transmitter with the built-in monitor. Um, seems like a lot, of, a lot of systems are going to this now. But I will get more flight videos up as soon as I can. I just wanted to try to get this one uh, uh, going since I just posted the uh, setup video not long ago. So guys, be careful and uh, have a good time with your multi-rotors. Thank you.